Good morning, modern status. Do you guys see that? The sun is out. We actually got some sunshine in the forecast for today, tomorrow. So we're gonna try to get our squash and cucumber and zucchini area planted today. Or there are the Icelandic chicks, guys. There. Oh, they're probably 12 weeks old. They're looking good. You want to say hello, Pluto? Huh? No. They're talking about you on the YouTube. You want to say hello? Huh? No. Let's go check out the new rooster, Rufus and his hens. They're doing great, guys. They are beautiful looking birds. I can't wait till we start hatching out some of their chicks. I like to cram as many plants as I can. How you doing? In one area. So we're gonna try to get six rows of different squash kind of plants in that one area. I'll show you what we got. We have our zucchini, cucumbers. Look at how green those are. Oh, shenanigans. Man! Well, I don't know what happened there, but I tripped. We were able to salvage some of the cucumbers, more than enough for us, so that's a good thing. We got spaghetti squash, and we got some nice summer squash, guys. This is gonna be an experimental garden plot. This is where we had our pasture raised pigs spending the night at night. So this is loaded with composted pig manure, wood chips, shavings, hay, you name it, it's all in here. We already got worms up the wazoo. That's a bonus. This first row further back, we're gonna put the spaghetti squash. We're gonna keep up front will be the stuff that we go and get quite a bit. The back side's gonna be the stuff that we'll harvest towards the end of the season. So back here we're gonna do spaghetti squash. I'll leave a row for the winter squash. And we're gonna keep the zucchinis, cucumbers, and some squash up front. We're gonna end up putting cattle panels after they start growing on the back side or front side, whatever works best for them to start trellising up. So keeping it that way so we can grow more vegetables in a smaller compacted area. How oh, well those are rooted up already. Now because this is so heavily composted, I'm gonna kinda of be doing the opposite. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of just plain loam around each plant before I backfill with all the compost. Get everything backfilled in nicely. Thank you, pigs. Not only did we get bacon out of them, we're gonna get plenty of produce. They just keep giving back, I love it. People are always saying that raising animals and eating meat isn't good for the environment. I'm gonna call BS on that one. It's a management issue. If we raise our animals the way they were created to be raised, then we would be able to grow more food with our animals being out on pasture. 
I mean, I'm gonna virtually be growing this food for free. And if I didn't have pigs here last year, that wouldn't be happening. I mean, that just gets me so excited. Free squash. If you think about it, the spaghetti squash for one costs $10 at the store. So how much money is this one little 16 by 16 bed gonna produce for us this year? You're gonna have to keep watching our growing season to find out. We got enough winter squash left over, so if these plants don't take, we can replant them. So we'll wait a week or so. Well, those plants all take and they look good, and those have been in the greenhouse for a while. We're gonna find a lucky person that could use some organic winter squash. Why not pass it on to others? We don't need to hoard it all to ourselves. Spread the wealth. And to me, growing your own beyond organic food is wealth. Next, we're gonna do our summer squash. There really isn't gonna be much need to water this garden either with all the compost and wood chips and manure in here. This is pretty much going to be a self-watering garden. When I say we're going to be growing free food from our pigs last year, I mean that. There's going to be like no work either. So we got last year's pigs growing our squash garden for free, and then we have this year's pigs turning our winter bedding into compost for free fertilizer for the rest of our gardens. Like I said, it's just wrong management for our animals. If we learn to manage them correctly, they can be working for us and making us free organic compost. Oh, uh, you know what? I really think of when I think about planting my zucchini. I don't know if you guys have ever had it or not, but zucchini whoopie pies. They are to die for. I don't know which one's better, the organic gluten-free chocolate cake we've made or our zucchini whoopie pies. When we make our zucchini whoopie pies, we, make, we also make homemade filling. That is awesome. It's so easy, guys. It's basically just egg whites and sugar. You put them in the mixer and you fluff it up. If any of you guys have ever made zucchini whoopie pies, leave it in the comments below. That's just not fair. Now all I'm thinking about is zucchini whoopie pies. Man. You got a little poo on your eye. Hopefully we didn't kill all these cucumber plants. We're gonna plant as many as we have. That way if we have any that don't take because I kicked them over, we got plenty going on. One of the nice things about making all these videos, if I can't remember what I planted where, I'll just have to come back and watch the video. Sure, it's crazy how it can go from being in the 40s one day to the 70s the next. All we need is a little bit of sunshine. You know what else grows crazy when the sun comes out? The weeds! While we're right here, let's check on the chickens and see if they got enough water still. It's pretty warm out. We got the 55 gallon drum set up with the rainwater collection, but we haven't had a chance to make them an automatic watering system yet. That's something on the to-do list. Yep. Yeah, they
There, I bet they'll enjoy their nice fresh cold water on a hot day like today. I wonder how many eggs we've gotten so far. You guys seen the nest boxes? They work slick and the eggs come out so clean even when it's been raining out. We get nice clean eggs. Look at that. I like it. You know who else likes it? Gina. Clean eggs. I think it's so funny the chicks may basically lay in one nest box. There's five of them available. Oops. Why lay in just one? We'll spread them out till we come back and get them later on. Yeah. We gotta go get Olivia off the school bus. Let's take the tractor and go get her. Give me a high five for doing such a great job. Woohoo! Good drive. Good job driving the tractor. Thank you. We made it home in one piece. Uh-huh. Awesome. Hey, guess what I already got one of today? I seen a gag. I did. It wasn't in the nest box, so I had to go pick it up. I know, I said Libby's is gonna be disappointed. Naughty, naughty, naughty. She didn't get to get it. <laughs> 